Hello everybody and welcome back. It is once again me, your favorite deputy of Movie Deputy Podcasts, bringing to you another intriguing interrogation of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Now before I get too much into this one, I do want to apologize for yesterday with some of my health issues, which I've been getting quite a few questions on lately because I haven't really gone into a whole lot of detail on that. But yesterday was just not a good day. I'm not trying to make excuses. I just, it was it was a really hard day and so I'm gonna occasionally have days like that and I'm gonna try to make them as few as possible but they are going to happen. I will go into a little bit more detail on a future episode on the Moby Deputy channel that we have because that's where all of our bonus content is. I don't want to ever let you guys down either on when you guys are sitting there waiting for a review and she's like okay I know she said she was gonna see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so where's the review? Well here it is and that's why I'm here. I I do want to admit one thing right off the bat. <laughs> I could easily admit when I'm wrong, and this is one of those ones that I was just, just like, oh my word, do they really need to do another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Does, does, does it really need another reboot? Like, what all is going on with that? It's, it's, there is literally no originality in Hollywood anymore, but that's no, I mean, no excuse for all of this anyway. But I thought, what a missed opportunity. Imagine if they were approaching this, this new movie as if it was the children of our four favorite turtles. That could have opened up a whole new doorway to a whole new storyline. But instead, this kind of goes way back to the beginning, back when the turtles were still turtles. And kind of what everything that happened to them, their dad, Master Splinter, and everything that goes along with that. And so, and okay, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles storyline anyways. Okay, we have a Splinter and a Shredder. And then you have a Warhog and a Pig and all of these other characters that are all these other other animals and it's like wh what why <laughs> it's just one of those things it's just that's on a whole other level but in this one we actually see that the turtles find themselves in some ooze and they end up being saved by a rat oh obviously their quote-unquote dad and he takes them under his wing and he raises them but he raises them to be afraid of the, the big world afraid of humans because humans are the demon scum of the earth that's literally a quote from the movie by the way and along the way he decides to teach them how to defend themselves he needs to teach them self-defense so they can survive living in the sewers and survive the city and kind of everything that goes along with that but he has always taught them to fear humans the thing is as the turtles grow up i mean we kind of know their personalities a little bit from the, kind of the other story lines on the rest of the story of the turtles that they have a natural curiosity and they end up meeting april and all of this stuff but even prior to meeting April, the whole self-defense thing, and I kind of think this is a cute little part of the movie, is it just very briefly touch, touches on how they learn their self-defense. And it's like off of an old VHS tape titled Carrie Lee's Guide to Self-Defense. And my first thought that came to mind was the how-to of Kung Fu. Now, okay, before I get any hate on that comment, I am fully aware that this is not just traditional Kung Fu. It's a bunch of the different martial arts and things like that involved. But like I said, that quote just kind of came to my head it's not in the movie, but it's just what I thought of when I saw it was the how-to of Kung Fu. So, as you know, I like to be silly with stuff like that. But the whole thing with the turtles, and they even say this, is the whole thing of acceptance will be ours. Because they are just determined to go out in the world and show people what they're, I mean, that they want to do good and that they want to be good out there in the real world. <laughs> like I said, their, their whole thing is acceptance will be ours. My biggest critique with this entire movie, and... Yeah, well, I should probably explain the score I gave it. The score I did give this movie was a 5.75 out of 10. And I actually did give this an innocent rating. There's nothing in this that would be particularly... I mean, inappropriate for kids in any way, shape, or form. So I did give this an innocent rating. Even the fight scenes, they're they're very vanilla on that. They're very mild. It's, they're not, there's nothing gory. There's nothing like over the top. There's no like animated blood spattering. Because th that's another thing about this movie. It's not live action and it's not necessarily cartoon. It's like if you, if claymation could meet animation and combine the two it, it almost looks like claymation except it's not it's just regular animation it's just made to look like that but they actually did a really good job with it so i was i was a little concerned about that like i said my biggest critique of this entire movie is in two different spots there could have been a third one that there's a third one that's just kind of teeter-tottering on the edge a little bit is the movie is anti-police 
And so that just, as, as you know, that definitely rubs me the wrong way. And that's the only reason this movie did not get a higher score. Honestly, I was mid to upper sixes on this score-wise. On the deputy rating scale, not like personally. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the Turtles just in general. And the story, except for kind of explaining their origins, didn't really go anywhere. And as you, if you're like I said, if you're at all familiar with the Turtles, you're familiar with Splinter. And of course, I mentioned Shredder. But the thing is, Shredder is nothing but a credit bonus scene in this one. So, you know, there's obviously going to lead into something more with that. So it'll be interesting to see where they go from there. But like I said, they couldn't resist the anti-police jabs. And honestly, if you're not paying attention, you wouldn't even pick up on it. But the rest of the movie is wholesome. It's sweet. It's very anti-bullying. It's pro just being yourself. Their whole thing of the acceptance will be ours, but they, they refuse to be anything that they're not. They're refusing to be fake. They're refusing to be, like I said, anything that they're not. They just want to be themselves and they want to be accepted for it. And that message throughout the whole thing was probably the main reason worth watching this. Like I said, if you've ever been a fan of the Turtles, I would advise checking this out. Like I said, just be prepared that there is that anti-authority. Like I said, there's a couple points of that in the movie, but that's not the focus of the movie, thankfully. So, I mean, is this gonna lead to a whole new direction that the turtles are gonna go in? Maybe so, maybe no, I'm not sure. I'm at least glad that they did this one. I know when I was talking uh, about the, the the trailer when I was doing the upcoming movies podcast, I really did not have very high hopes. I was honestly going into this expecting it to be like a two or three. Like I said, it definitely came out of it a lot better than I was expecting it to be. So be sure to catch me tomorrow for some more great movies. I haven't decided which ones I'm doing yet. I need to get caught up on a lot more of my older titles. So if you ever want to suggest any or if you just want to help me pick my order, feel free to go on social media, hashtag movie deputy. And if I haven't already reminded you, which I don't think I have on this show, and honestly, I hate the shows that just consistently go like, subscribe, and share. But it's, I realize that's kind of what I've been doing and it's kind of cheesy. I want to do something more original. So if you have any ideas for any way that I could be more original with that, I don't want to just be just one of the these podcasters that's just a broken record on stuff like that. I want to be anything but that. Hence why I created a deputy. I can't wait to have more adventures with you in the future. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.